In this video, let's take a look at the following. We're going to find this limit. So the limit as x approaches 0 here of sine of 6x over 2x. That's our goal. So we are going to make this conform to a known limit. So hopefully by now you've studied in basic calc that the limit as x goes to 0 of something like this. Take a look. Sine, for example, of x over x is equal to 1. That's a well-established and known fact. We're going to make use of that. So back in our own work here at step number two, I'm going to multiply my entire limit by a convenient form of the number one. That convenient form happens to be six over six. So I'm taking that and multiplying as follows here. And I'm doing that for the following reason. Our goal is to make our limit, which is sine six x over two x, look like this limit over here. This is a basic standard limit where you have sine of x over x. In other words, you want to be sure that this part and this part look the same. Right now, 6x and 2x don't look that way. They're not the same. That's why I'm multiplying by 6 over 6 to make them look the same. Take a look at the next stage here. I will say limit as x approaches 0. And I'm going to group it this way. Take a look. 6 sine of 6x. And on the bottom, I'm going to regroup 6 times 2x. So it becomes 2 times 6x. And now we're getting closer. You see how the 6x within the parentheses and the 6x on the bottom look the same? That's what we want. So now it's step number four here. I'm going to take the 6 over 2. When you do that, 6 divided by 2 is 3. I'm going to pull that out. So it's going to give me 3 on the outside for that reason. And then here the limit as x approaches 0 of sine 6x over 6x. Now this has exactly the form sine of 6x over 6x and the limit is equal to 1. The fact that this is 6 and up there, it's just like, for example, 1x makes no difference, okay? They just have to be the same looking. So that means you're going to end up with 3 times 1, which is 3. And that is the correct value of the limit. Thanks so much. Leave a like.